Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the online course on the entrepreneurial mindset from IBA Karachi Center for Entrepreneurial Development. We will be talking about the the third principle of effectuation called the lemonade principle. So lemonade principle is leveraging your surprises which come along your way. How to look at your surprises and when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So we'll be trying to understand how is this principle uh, different than the management practices. In the traditional management courses, we, we study a lot about contingency and contingency planning. So any event which are surprising and which are out of the box, which come along during the entrepreneurial journey, we try to plan to avoid them. The lemonade principle says something else, that when life gives you lemons and surprises, make lemonade. So let's look at it in detail. So the lemonade principle is, the, is, at, the heart, is at the heart of the entrepreneurial expertise is the main core of this entrepreneurial uh, expertise. It means to the ability to turn the unexpected into the profitable. There's a lot of unexpected things which keep on happening around us, within us, so we need to look into how to leverage them. And this is a, a saying from, from an entrepreneur that I always live by the motto of ready, fire, aim. If you spend too much time on ready, aim, 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 you'll never see many of the good things that would happen. So you, you don't, you're not able to, uh, you're not able to experience uh, the action, the results of actions. And great entrepreneurial firms are a product of contingencies. So these events, these actions which take place as a surprise, which are which, which, which confront the entrepreneur in a surprising uh, way, they lead to great entrepreneurial firms. The structure, the culture, the core competence, and the endurance, so these four things are all residues. They are the result of the particular human beings making an effort to do something through interactions. So it is these interactions of people while they are doing something interesting that the structure, culture, and the core competence and endurance evolve out of that. So interactions. Not all surprises are bad and that surprises, good or bad, can be used as inputs into the new venture creation. So surprises, good and bad, both both can be used as inputs into something new. And that is the differentiation between effectual reasoning and causal reasoning. So we'll be looking into detail uh, about these things in the next slide. So we need to understand that we are living in a world of wonders. This is a world of surprises, world of serendipity, a world of surprises, a world of continuous change. However, we, in general, we do not appreciate this. We do not we take it light and we take it for granted that what is happening around us, the sun rising every day and setting, it, setting down and raining and shining and day in and day out. We see the variation in temperatures. We see the snowfall coming down and we see things happening and we see innovative and interesting things happening in our life. Every event we experience, every event we see is unique. If I talk something for this 30 minutes, I can't repeat the same sequence again. If I write something, I can't repeat the same sequence again. Whatever is happening in this universe, in this world is unique, idiosyncratic. So there's uh, something very, very strange happening around. And whatever you, whatever you plan, whatever you think, decide or plan, there will be some change in it. Whatever you write, create, etc. cannot be replicated in the exact manner. 
there will be some sort of variability. There will be some sort of variations. All our decisions and events are vulnerable to internal and external factors. So whenever I want to do something, there are some internal factors. And there are some external factors. So those combi combinations make that event and decision unique. That cannot be replicated again. So that keeping that in mind, you see, keeping that in mind, we 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 can prepare ourselves to embrace to embrace variability, embrace change, embrace surprises. And for example, I'm going from my office to from my home to my office. The footsteps which I will go through will never be the same again. If I go in a car, the the footprints of my car, the tire, will never be the same again. So this inherent variability is 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 part of the design, is part of the design, is part of the greatness of the Creator, that He is so powerful and He's so great, and He's such a great designer that He loves that variability, and these surprises are are going to come. So the Lemonade Principle says that embrace surprises. Embrace variability, embrace change, and out of that variability and surprise, there will be, there must be something very interesting, innovative, and something fruitful. So rather than getting, getting upset or getting worried about the contingency and too much obsessed with contingency planning, this principle says that go and look at something positive coming out of that so and find something interesting new and creative out of it so this is a very interesting uh, perspective and there can be various kinds of contingencies and surprises for example you can meet unexpected people on your journey and these unexpected people when they meet and interact you get new ideas you get new interactions and you get new business models or whatever you call it. Roxanne Kumbi had a chance meeting with Bert and that small meeting in a jungle led to led them to create a one billion dollar company in like 15 years. Khaled Avan, who was the CEO of TCS and he his company was going to be banned by the federal government and he came to know that that a cabinet meeting is taking place in Islamabad on Monday and he, 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 he couldn't know what to do. So he tried to get an a economy class ticket from Karachi to Islamabad. He couldn't find one, so he got a first class ticket. And to his surprise, when he sat in the airplane, plane, next to him was, next to him sitting was Mr. Mahbubul Haq, the finance minister of the, of the, of the government. And while the, as the plane took off, the finance minister went into a deep sleep. So Avon wrote it on a piece of letter and prepared his sales pitch, what he wanted to talk to him. And as he woke up towards the landing time, he was able to connect and talk. And the next day, his problem was solved. So unexpected people, unexpected events, unexpected events in life take place. So Kaina, one of our students, her husband was shot and he was injured, he was taken to the hospital and he couldn't continue his job. So she decided to pursue her passion. So that even led her to do something and to make, to earn something. And that she started silver jewelry with the help of her father-in-law and her and a distant family friend who was a good calligrapher. And she started silver-based jewelry. He asked me, one of another student, a grandma, entrepreneur, her brother suffered kidney pain and he needed clean water. So she referred to the chemistry book of our kids, of her kids. And after reading the treatment process, she was able to make an indigenous water treatment facility in her kitchen. Her husband was away as he was in the merchant navy. And when he came back, he saw that and defined that process. So unexpected events in life lead to a lot of things unexpected information 
Now you're not expecting. Roxanne Kumbi, she purchased an old book to read. And when she opened it, she found a recipe for a lip balm. And that was a turning point of her business. And she took that and did that experiment and the lip balm was created. Asan, one of our, one of our cases used in entrepreneurship, we wanted to make a plastic injection molding and rotation molding facility. He got that machine from a friend in, in UK and got that installed and the commissioning was still pending and his friend Bell died. So he was worried what to do. He couldn't find any specialist. So he was traveling to Chicago to attend his son's graduation ceremony. And as he reached Chicago, he remembered that Bell, his friend, had told that there is a rotational molders association in the United States that can help him. So he looked into the telephone directory. And that information which triggered, and he got the answer from the telephone directory, made him call them and he came to know that the Rotation Molders Association annual meeting is taking place. So he went there. He found an expert there. And he invited him to Pakistan. And his factory and his operations started. So unexpected information coming up from various ways. This is a very interesting contingency. So there are various examples happening all around the world. I'll be sharing a few happened at the IBA Center for Entrepreneurial Development. Arsalan, he is he worked working for an insurance company and he was selling insurance to automobile owners and automobile dealers. And during this process, he found out that the cars are very dirty and he came to know about the concept of car detailing. Detailing means cleaning a car into details, into minute details and making it making a car almost new. So he learned this process through YouTube and he did some experiments on a few cars outside his house. And that was the beginning. You see that, that idea coming out of serendipity, chance, and that information coming in from YouTube. And that a new business he, he offers, uh, you see he has an off, he has a shop and he has a, you see, home, sort of a facility. You call him and his car and his wagon comes along with his people. Shakeb. He fell in love with automobiles while he was a young boy. He used to do his homework in the car. And when his father used to go to, to the auto mechanic, he used to go. He developed friendship with the mechanics, got the manuals, looked at the videos, and he became a savvy auto repairer. And he used to give recommendations to the mechanics and made their job easy. As he was doing his BBA, and the assignment was to come up with a business model, he said, hey, I have that. I have my bird in hand, my, my knowledge, my videos, my manuals, my mechanics, my family, and my vicinity. So he got $8 from his mom, made a, made a small ad, and shared in the vicinity. And he connected the mechanics that I will do the diagnostics, and you will do the repair." 10% is mine and 90% is yours. So that was the beginning of a, of a zero cost entrepreneurship model. Sam's Cake Factory. So Mayra, she was uh, cooking a cake. Sorry, she, she was celebrating a, a birthday for her, her kid. She purchased the cake while she was in Jeddah. She brought the cake and the cake was not good. She said, I will do it myself. She went to YouTube took a lesson, got the recipes and made it herself and gave it to her neighbors. They liked it and she started getting a request to cook cake. She did it free in the beginning and eventually she made it her business. She got three days training from Dubai. She brought a 3D printer. She came to Pakistan and there she started this business. The business started flourishing. The husband resigned and joined her wife's company as a supply chain and as a marketing person. And as the, 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 kid, as the kitchen became small, uh, the father-in-law uh, uh, offered them to, to use his empty uh, flat. And so he did empty you see, facility and they moved there. Saad, one of our students in the BBA program, when he did this course, he, he had a beard and he was looking for something where he can apply 
uh, this beard oil so he's, uh, he can keep his beard fresh. And he has taken this entrepreneurship course and read the Roxanne Kumbi case and how she did and found something started from a jungle. So based on that idea, he found the recipe, got the mix with the help of some engineers and used his burning hand to find bottles and did marketing and made a Facebook. And eventually he was able to make this company called Beer Republic. He's making good amount of money, he has more than 10 employees. So all these examples came out of serendipity, contingency, luck, chance, and laminates. So if you look at the whole process, the contingency path to novel outcomes. So what is the contingency path? What is contingency? Once again, incident, eventuality. A contingency is a potential incident that may occur in the future, may occur in the future, such as an economic recession, natural disaster like corona. Contingencies can be prepared, but often the nature and scope of such negative events are unknowable in advance. So we are living in the world of unknowns. So the MBA model, the management model, the BBA model is trying to confront contingencies. They want to work, they want to plan, they want to fight with contingencies. The, the effectuation model goes the other way around. It wants to leverage contingency. It wants to, it wants to work with contingencies and find new opportunities. So this model says, when you, when you are confronted with contingencies in the form of new information, in the form of new people, meeting new people, new events, good and bad. So all these three things, when, they, when you are em embraced with that, what happens? They change your who you are. Your who you are improves. You are a simple man. Saad Afridi was a simple man, but when he came up with the beard oil idea, after talking, reflecting, he came to know that he was very good in selling, in procuring, in research, what you know. So his knowledge increased, his network increased. And Shakeb, the automobile guy, a simple boy, but when he fell in love with the cars, he discovered that he, without doing mechanical engineering, he was very much savvy with how the engine works. So when you are confronted with contingencies and events, like Sukaina, when her husband got injured, she discovered that she's a brave lady. She can, she can do interesting things. And she had never tried that before. So that contingency made her to think and reflect and take some action. So this con these contingencies change your means, which gives you new means to leverage. So when your means are enhanced, you ask yourself, what can I do with my revised means? So with your revised means, you try finding something else and new ways. And that is why new venture directions are obtained. And I'll be giving you some examples. Uh, this is a verse in Urdu. And uh, I will not be explaining it here. And this, let's see, this quick example of Spencer Silver, a chemist, a scientist. He was working on adhesives for aircrafts. And he had been working on it, but there was a mistake, which led to a new adhesive, which was not that strong. The substance could be peeled away without leaving residue and be reused. So if you were joining two things, you could move them again. And still, it will be some stickiness. And there was, by mistake, they put some paper, and they found, wow, post it. So it took many years to sell this idea. So that was a serendipity, an accident, a contingency which led to the formation of a new product, of a new idea, and a new business model. Similarly, a gentleman in the United States, he went to drop his kids to a boarding house. When he, was brought, when he went there inside, he saw very small rooms, very less space. This is a bed, there was a study table. And he was, very less space was left for, for movement. So he had passion in carpentry and designing he came back and he made a bed, bunk, with a bed on the top and the table at the bottom. He purchased some wood, cut it, joined it, brought it back, and when he put it there, the kid was happy, and he shared with his friends. And when the sh friends 
saw that they were excited and they talked with their parents. The, their parents asked the address of this gentleman's father and the word of mouth spread and he started getting orders. So that contingency that his kid's room was small led to a new business opportunity. So this is a very interesting thing uh, which we want to share in this module, the lemonade principle. That when nature gives you lemon, make lemon. When nature gives you apple, make apple. And we are living in a world of surprises and a world of wonder. We are living in a wonderland. So enjoy this. Embrace this. Every activity we go through is unique, idiosyncratic, events. So let's enjoy that and flow with it. And out of that, that wonder, out of that surprises, find new opportunities. And this is what in Quran, God says, وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرَ اللَّهُ the human beings do plan and I plan Wallahu Khairul Makirin and my planning is superb. I'm the best planner. So thank you very much for listening. Looking forward to see you another episode.